find the athletes doing to prepare for the combo. Have a high <laughs> carbohydrate diet. Be confident. Warm up. Stretch. Drink plenty of water. I'm sure I have the right equipment that works for me. Getting the so Review my performance. Try my best. I think positively. <coughs> I treat I every day to relax. I eat healthily. I stay in the right body shape for Adjust for the time change. I train in the country of the competition to get used to the weather. Hello and welcome to BBC News. I am Elsa Bradford. Today I am in Glasgow about to talk to Willie Lemon about how he is getting ready for the Commonwealth Games. Willie Lemon will be in Team GB for the Commonwealth Games 2014. Thanks for being here, Willie. You're welcome. I am going to ask you a few questions about your boxing career. Okay. Do you train with any other boxers? Yes, yeah, Annie Lee's and Billy Bristol. Who is your role model? Ricky Burns. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? No, I don't mind. I am 35 years of age. When did you first want to be, become a boxer? 1987. Would you ever do another sport? Yes. What would that sport be? Football. Why did you choose boxing as a sport? Because my dad owned a boxing arena. How many injuries have you had when you have been boxing? One. That was in the Olympics. I caught my shoulder. How did your mum and dad think about you boxing? My dad didn't mind, but my mum was afraid in case I hurt myself badly. Thank you for your time and good luck in the Commonwealth. No problem. Hello, and today on the news at 12, we have an exclusive interview with a very famous rugby athlete called Lee Jones taking part in this year's Commonwealth Games representing Scotland. Hello, my name is Sophie and today I'll be interviewing you on how you prepare for, for such a busy day ahead of you. So how do you train and prepare for the big day? I go to the gym, swim, swim to build up muscles in my arms and legs and have a relax in, at the end of the day in the jacuzzi. How long did it take to train for the big day altogether? I have been training for life for these huge competitions. It is a big part of my, of my life. How tall are you in height? I am 5 foot 11 inches in height. Do you get the weekends off from training? No, I don't get the weekends off, I just don't train as hard as normal. How many hours do you spend a day practicing? 68 hours usually, sometimes longer or less at the weekend. It seems like a lot of work to be put into training, doesn't it? It does seem a lot, but after doing it for a while it doesn't seem that long. Thank you for inviting me to your show, I have really enjoyed it Miss Sophie. Thank you for watching our exclusive interview with Lee Jones. We will now move on to the weather. Goodbye for now. Enjoy your day. Welcome to the news. I am here at the hockey training camp for the Commonwealth Games and I am joined by Amy Gibson from the GB hockey team. So Amy, what are you doing to prepare for the Glasgow Games? I will be keeping to my diet and build my strengths. I have to eat a lot of vegetables and nutritious food. As soon as you wake up you from your sleep, you need to get out and train all the time. I need to set myself targets all the time. It's good that we're in Glasgow because it's home turf and all the home support is building confidence and teamwork. All the time you need to test yourself and I, I always aim for the final. Getting in shape is a, always a priority. Are you confident that you can bring home a medal for Team GB? Yes, I will keep believing in myself and try my hardest. If you were to win a medal, how would you celebrate? I would be over the moon and I would not stop smiling. Thank you, Amy. Now for me, Cal MacArthur. Goodbye and back to the studio. Hello, I'm Andrea McAllister here with Singapore's table tennis star Isabella Lee talk us through her hard work and preparation for the Commonwealth Games to be held in Glasgow 2014. Hello Isabel. Hello Andrea. Now I understand you're currently preparing for your journey to Scotland for the Games. How do you plan to ready yourself for the Games? I like to set myself targets and say to myself you need to try your hardest and beat your personal best or if I were to get get say 
a bronze, I'll tell myself, right, now I need to try and get a silver or a gold and improve my rankings. I, f I find it fine. I find it fun to challenge myself as a team we can come together and train with the rest of the team. Singapore, not, and not only is it my job, it really, it's really fun to mingle with the other athletes. My diet is an important part of my training and as a table tennis player I need to ready my arms and my torso. Why those particular body parts? Well, my arms need the strength to help me hit the ball with um, much, p much power and force as I can pos as I possibly can, and my torso because my sport requires a lot of twisting and turning. How do you prepare to train? After a long flight, uh, I would typically take either a refreshing jog, jog or a bubble bath just to cure the jet lag or sometimes just a small nap to help me adjust to the time difference. It really helps my my mental state of mind just to plug my earphones in and just let the music take over. Thank you. My pleasure. That's all the time we have with you as well. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jessica Ocean and today I'm interviewing the Scottish weightlifter Craig Carfrey. So Craig, how many times do you train a week? I train four times a week. How do you pre prepare for a competition? I prepare by eating a balanced diet to keep me going while I train, keeping, keeping in shape for the competition, getting over the jet lag, being mentally ready for the competition, not giving up and making every bit of training count, by going out on a run, by going for a swim, last minute training, adjusting to the time changes in other countries, working as a team, getting and getting used to the climate. That was Craig Carfrey and I'm Jessica Ocean. Goodbye. Hello, this is Ross Barr interviewing Ewan Barton. Uh, judo master. Um, he will be retiring at the end of Commonwealth. Um, anxious to get a gold medal in all competitions, he has had around three bronze. I am going to ask, be asking him some questions. Ewan, how do you get prepared? Well, I get prepared by skipping like boxes. Well, that is pretty interesting. But, but how do you get rid of the pressure? I just think that I'm going. I'm just thinking, going in the playground, that's how I sometimes get rid of the pressure. How do you get rid of all your bad habits, as in eating fat foods, etc? What I do is I have certain things, as in like cereal, but for dinner I have things like pasta. Well, you must be thinner than me. How many times do you train a week? Uh, well, I train whenever I have time, but... When I do have time, I, have, I train like four times a week. Uh, how do you relax when you are going through a tournament? What I do is I talk to people that are also in the tournament. So how would you train and where do you train? How I work is I have a schedule, which is like 7 o'clock, I get up and have some breakfast, get ready and do some exercise. Sorry for interrupting, but that's all we have uh, time for. See you all later. Cheerio. Hello, this is Michael and today I'm joined with Bradley Wiggins. Now Bradley, if I wanted to become a cyclist, how long will it take to prepare? Well, to prepare, I will go to Glasgow to do my last bit of training before the Games. I set myself targets for the Games and then I will go to different countries to get used to the different climate. Also, before the Games, I will set myself personal goals and push myself to the max. I will need to keep a balanced diet by eating pasta, fruit and veg and then have an early night and go out for a cycle in the morning. Okay then, my next question is, in your cycling career, what was your biggest highlight? The biggest highlight of my career was winning the Tour de France. 
This year, the Commonwealth Games is in Glasgow. How do you think this will help tourism for Scotland? I think this will help tourism in Scotland because lots of people will be coming to support their countries and, and they, they might come back for a holiday. Now, Bradley, the last question is, what are some of your hobbies? Some of my hobbies are collecting retro motorbikes and my favourite football team is Liverpool. Thank you, Bradley, for your time. Now, Bye. 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 Bye.